Hi, Dave Smith here. Uh, so this is another in my uh, line of uh, videos. Uh, I previously did a, a video on the Svodovsky 12x20 camera and what we have here is the other camera that I commissioned at the same time. The 12x20 took about 13 months to arrive uh, and sometimes with these things you just have to go with the flow. So I didn't let myself get head up even though I sent these guys about seven grand um, you, you, you know things will come eventually and this the 12 by 20 is a stunning camera and so is this one they're very similar uh, so I, I won't go through too much of the uh, movements of this at this stage partly because I've got no place to put this thing whilst that's there and that's there so <coughs> so I may come back to the movements another time but I talked about the movements on the 12 by 20 and they are very similar cameras. So on the front of this, there's a hefty lens and it's, I think it's a SW Nikko or a W Nikko. Yeah, Nikko W240 mil. F, F5.6, <coughs> excuse me. And it's mounted in a Copal 3 shutter, so the whole thing is pretty massive on the front of this camera. 240 mil is very slightly wide on this format uh, standard would be i want to say 330 ish 330 mil something like that so this is probably equivalent to your 35 mil lens on your 35 mil full frame camera so slightly wide it's not uh, it's not as wide as i usually like to or, or as wide as I like to work when I'm in digital, where I'm often at 24 mil and wider. Um, but these cameras, these cameras operate quite differently. So that's slightly wide. I also have the Nikko M450 mil, which is slightly long for this, and I'm going to use the 450 mil for head and shoulder portraits. My intention with these cameras is to is to shoot portraits, <coughs> among other things landscapes as well of course uh, in film and in wet plate only wet plate on the 12 by 20 uh, I might get some extra film for that but I'm, I'm not sure developing a, everything becomes more difficult so this is the 10 by 8 it's got the uh, bail back uh, it's a beautifully made camera uh, you know and hardly hardly used so far so I've put out a I've put out a, a call for uh, models. I'm looking to take some uh, portraits on film in in the, in the near future. So I will do a, I will do a video uh, about that. But I think my next uh, video is going to be uh, loading film into the Horseman six by nine back, which I promised in in a previous video. So that's just a very just a very swift overview of this uh, beautiful beautiful camera I have uh, half a dozen double dark slides uh, for it and I have a wet plate holder and a 5x4 insert for the wet plate holder so I can do different sizes and I use the 5x4 to test things like um, exposure uh, so uh, I, f I feel like I'm getting back to photography I feel like I've been a bit of a, a nomad in the last couple of years uh, I've had some ups and downs um, uh, in that time but I feel like I'm getting back to photography and uh, I'm about to uh, embark on a, a studio project uh, based out of Halifax I think that's Halifax Yorkshire not Halifax Canada <laughs> Don't want you making that mistake. Uh, anyway, that's uh, that's going to do me for now. I think uh, I will sort out a video for the uh, horseman as well, and I might even do that now. Uh, strike while the iron's hot, eh? But thanks for listening. Uh, I look forward to hearing from. You. Bye for now.